Good morning, guys. <sighs> Ew. <laughs> Just coffee coming back up on me. <clears throat> it's Sunday morning. It's actually been a couple days since I vlogged. I haven't done a whole lot lately. Um, very busy week. Tried to be a busy week and then it failed a couple times. It's okay. But uh, I'm going to go run and grab breakfast before the live stream. The wifey is still in bed. But I just woke her up. I'm like, baby, I'm going to get breakfast. She's like, okay, I'll get up. <laughs> so that's all she's waiting for is breakfast to, come, to happen. Whew. You know, I put the hoodie on because it was cold last night. I come out here now and it's humid. It's cool, but it's humid. You know, Texas weather. Come on, car. And I'm hoping my car is okay because when I tried to leave work yesterday, it was not. It was doing that thing where it was acting like it had no fuel, which got half a tank so it's acting up again it does it every now and then but it it's like when there's a major shift in the weather is when it does it more than anything and yeah it's it got cold and super rainy yesterday and now today it's foggy and damp and warm so i don't know but run into the factory of kolaches can't see anything Okay, probably gonna be doing a live stream when I get back after we eat. I'm gonna be talking all about the new Gundam series, which seems to just be a play off of the previous Gundam series, but we'll see. That no, car's still not acting right. What the fuck is going on? It's like under partial throttle, it's okay. You start trying to go, and it does not go. What the hell? That's one reason why I took my car, is to see if it would keep doing this, and it's continuing to do it. That's not a good thing. So, boo for that. But yeah, new new Gundam series beginning soon. Because it, it, it technically this was the prologue, and then they showed us all the model kits coming. I did not watch the hour-long presentation about it, though. That's a lot to sit through, you know. <laughs> but I think I can get the gist of what's happening. Gundam Bill Divers. Divers. Because what I wanted from my Gundam series was more Sword Art Online. <laughs> Which, don't get me wrong, I like Sword Art Online. <laughs> They're just like... They're combining build fighters and that, and possibly, we'll see, hopefully not anything from a G Gundam. Like, superpowers. Which just seems to be people's main complaint about build fighters try, is that it's too much DBZ, or it's too much G Gundam. No, too much G Gundam would be my complaint, but you know, it is what it is. It is foggy and crappy out here. And this guy is driving like an a-hole. Oh, car. Uh, but yeah, not a lot going on. I guess technically I did vlog the other day when I was going around to all the Walgreens and Target and such. I just haven't edited that vlog yet, which means this vlog will be a part of that. I think today we were originally going to go to Super Bowl party at our sister's house, but I don't think either of us is feeling like driving out there. At that end, I guess the uh, season finale of our favorite show, or one of our favorite shows, is on immediately after the Super Bowl, and that is, of course, This Is Us. And that show is an emotional wrecking ball. <laughs> it's just... It just keeps beating you down for loving it. It's like, if you need a good cry, and this is like the penultimate thing, like it's just got to be... Oh, man. just It's going to be sad. 
Patriots are going to win, and then stuff is going to happen. Of course the Patriots are going to win. Everything is in their favor. Not a fan of the Patriots, because you're wondering. Alright. To the factory of Kalachis. Hey, those people just took all my Kalachis. Uh, they pull through. Food time. Oh, all right, food has been acquired. And I can actually leave the parking lot. Normally that's a problem. Try to back out, and there's a line from Starbucks you can't leave. I've actually been stuck here before. Probably a good extra five or six minutes just waiting for people to get out of my way from Starbucks. All right, so food is acquired. Get home. Now I said one thing that sucks is I ran out of creamer, so I can't have a whole lot more coffee today. Unless the wife will share hers. guy in line in front of me must have been getting an order for church or something. One, he was really dressed up. Two, he's getting a massive order of kolaches. It was like three dozen. So, I was like, okay, can I, can I order now? <laughs> it took him, took him a while. Actually, yesterday, on my way to work, I grabbed donuts and kolaches for uh, my preload guys and almost nobody saw it or <laughs> they already ate breakfast and like I can't eat it. it's all good see you try to do something nice for people and they don't even know but yeah but that was actually pretty good uh, the reason I, I was like I got there so early to the donut place that I was getting f like perfectly fresh donuts like literally taking them off the the rollers from being iced. They were like all gooey and soft and oh, donuts. I don't do donuts very often anymore. We do kolaches more often than that, but when they're super fresh, it's awesome. And this being uh, Texas, more specifically the Houston-ish area, Shipley's usually reigns supreme, but there's a few good smaller places here and there. There's a really good one, I think, called Donut Wheel over here. I really like their stuff, but they're they're out of the way, so I don't go there very often. But when somebody does grab donut, it's worth it. Pat's Donuts is actually pretty good too. But uh, Krispy Kreme has started to become a thing. They were gone for a few years, and now they're coming back with a vengeance. They want some donut territory in the Houston. Okay, don't want to run over this trash. I just love when somebody just dumps their trash in the middle of the street. But yeah, Krispy Kreme, I really do like their stuff, but they can be like way too sweet. But I like it. <laughs> it's like, and we actually went to many, many years ago. Uh, yeah, oh, it feels like a lifetime ago, to be honest. Went up to, I believe it was San Antonio. And before we left, we found a Krispy Kreme quote unquote factory. That's what they call some of the bigger stores. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was a thing. It was good. And he saw it and he said, it is good. All right, I'm going to get in the house to go feed my lovely wife and then get ready for the uh, live stream. Don't break the stair. What's up, guys? So... Did the live stream earlier. I gotta close my door real quick. And was out here editing, got a knock at the door. 
So the package I ordered arrived. However, I'm not entirely happy with how it arrived. So it came in an Amazon bubble package. And it is Chopper 2. However, this thing is banged up. Like, this is all bent, the corners are fucked up, and you can see, inside the packaging, it's like just barely jammed in there. And it didn't come from the manufacturer directly, it came from, uh, some art supply place. Yeah, I mean, it is just, it's a little, I think it's probably okay, but... The packaging is definitely beat up. And I got some screws here. Because, I mean, this is torn. All the shit. Okay. But, what I wanted to show off is this cool thing. So, if you guys are following Backstepped at all, he has one of these things. He got it for Christmas. And he posted a review of basically how to use this thing. So, it is a little club plate chopper so you've got a very sharp razor blade right here which i will not be needing to buy more blades and you've got a couple little guides here which that is super tight but i'm gonna play with it but basically i was waiting on this to get here so that i could uh actually upgrade my system of building here and i've got some screws right here i don't know what those are for Make sure the blade isn't hitting anything on the way down. Yeah, I don't know what those screws are technically for. I'll look at it. Maybe there's a thing here. Hold on. Instructions are a thing. Alright, well, it does seem to be intact. It's just the packaging got real rough, obviously. It's second day shipping. So, it does look pretty cool. You've got a cutting mat. You've got the guides. Very sharp blade right through there. I think the screws are to replace the, if you ever need a screw to replace that, I'm not sure. But I'll do a video uh, once I get used to actually messing with this thing. But I'll probably play with it a little bit today, but I'm going to do a little bit of editing for now, and then I'm going to start on a build. So, yay for that. But hey, I got a new tool, and I'm very excited to use it and up my scratch building game, especially for the custom that I've been working on, which is the whole reason I got it. And I've got it for about 20 bucks more than what they were originally selling it for. I got did not catch the sale in time. <clears throat> but I'm actually excited. I think it's pretty cool. And uh, one thing is I wish the blade was a bit longer, but I guess it is what it is. It looks like a bitty chopper. Oh, hey, that's because it is a chopper. Yay! So I'm going to go play with stuff. All right, guys. Well, football game is finally over. Patriots didn't win. Best thing ever. I don't even care. I'm just glad they're gone. Wow, this is an extended trailer for uh, the Cloverfield Paradox. By the way, now I'm mad that we don't have Netflix. But now we're just sitting here waiting for This Is Us to come on, which is the whole thing we've been waiting on all this time. You ready to cry? Are you, are you, are you ready to cry tonight, baby? It's not even... Okay, it is that late. No, I'm saying it is that late. It's 9.30. I was, I was going to say it's not that late, but the game was supposed to end uh, quite some time ago. Yep. Uh, show me on video. You are not in the video. I'm going to a nice high selfie here. But it is what it is. Lots of cool movie trailers and stuff like that have come up. Solo. Solo teaser. Yay. Fallen Kingdom extra trailer. Yay. So... All the good stuff. All the movies we're going to see. Didn't see another Black Panther spot, although there was something online already. But anyways, we're going to say good night for now. It's been a long, boring day for the most part. So, hope you guys have a great one. Hope you enjoyed the Super Bowl. Did your team win? And do you hate the Patriots? Remember, as always, guys, it doesn't have to make sense. It just happened to be loud. <laughs>